different panel, and it seems as though City Cross has really come full circle. I'm coming back at nearly the same time to the same room, but instead of trying to muster up the courage to say that I think I can be successful in the Civic House program, I'm able to say to you that I believe I have thrived in the Civic House program. From the hours of community service that make us realize the impact one person can have on the world, to the dream internship that really helped me discover myself, and now the senior project to show the community how thankful I am for what I've been given, I never thought that just another extracurricular could have so much of an influence on the person I've come to be. I entered high school actually with a science-focused mind and just a vague interest in politics, but tons of opinions. And now I emerge a complete political junkie and I would love to be involved in the world of international relations. Of course, none of this would be possible without the opportunities that Civitas has granted me including the classes few, few high school students can say they've taken, and priceless learning experiences both in the classroom and out in the community. I came into the Civitas program with opinions galore, but lacked any evidence with which to support them. In the intro to poli-sci and local government classes, we learned the basis of how government works, as well as how to talk about issues in a professional way, and with better reasons to support your argument than just because I said so. My speaking skills flourished even more after I fell in love with art of speech at a Civitas class. My stomach no longer ties up in a million knots, even though right now I might be a little nervous, but it helps from anything talking about hobbies to presidential candidates. But my true interest came when taking international relations during my sophomore year. Um, it was the height of the Arab Spring, which was really one of the most riveting and radical time periods in the international community in modern years, and definitely not a bad time to develop an interest in global politics. I do remember one night when I was writing a Security Council resolution on the tumultuous political situation in the Ivory Coast for our mock UN, and I had this sort of epiphany that this was what I really wanted to research and learn about the rest of my life. And I yelled to my mom in the kitchen at like, 10 p.m., my sister was asleep, I waited on trouble for it. I screamed to her, hey, I think I found my college major. <laughs> and most people aren't lucky enough to have experiences of self-discovery like this at the age of 16, but Civitas dangled these aspirations right within my reach. And even better was when, a couple of months later, uh, the real Security Council, so this was my bill, this was the real bill, passed about four months later, and it was very similar to mine regarding the Ivory Coast. So I thought to myself, maybe I have the right mindset for this. I could be good at this whole IR thing, you know? And the last Civitas class, um, Political Philosophy and Thought, tested my brain and stretched it to limits I did not know existed. I walked out of philosophy that first day not knowing if the sky was blue, which way was up, or if life was even real. And in philosophy, I had yet another aha moment about the way Civitas had changed my classmates and me when we sat down in the Socratic circle to discuss the existence of God. Now, in any other environment or group of people, this conversation could have gotten very emotional, extremely heated, and some people could definitely have been offended. But we were able to sit down and have a completely civilized discussion in which we applied everything we learned and shared our beliefs openly with this feeling of family. There was no judging of other people's opinions, no arguments over who was right or wrong, but instead the classroom was filled with this atmosphere of understanding and respect. And I really can't think of another place where this can happen, anywhere in the world or in a high school classroom for that matter. And I really realized that Civitas had changed every single person in that, in that room into a more well-rounded, open-minded person. And I think all of us will really make for a better tomorrow because of that. So I finished the academic portion of Civitas with a true passion for foreign affairs and wanted to integrate it into my internship and senior project. So the internship I had this summer was at the California State Office of International Affairs, um, International Relations, sorry. It was definitely the most incredible part of my Civitas experience and it expanded my views and knowledge of the world I live in while strengthening my love for international relations. Uh, my time at the SOIR gave me experiences like no others, spending my day in and around the capital, researching foreign countries, meeting foreign dignitaries who were visiting California to learn about our great state. 
I did not spend my time with idle tasks such as fetching coffee or copying and filing papers for hours on end, like many interns do, but instead was given my own role and responsibilities in the office. Besides expanding my knowledge about other countries, this gave me insight to, office, to um, how offices like the Office of International Relations function, and I now know that it is something like this is what I would like to spend the rest of my life doing. And though this might not appeal to everyone, I loved my mornings when I would come in, sit down at my desk and read the Senate Daily Bulletin, watch the morning floor session, and catch up on state and international news. For a political junkie and international relations nerd, that is bliss. <laughs> and the killer view from my desk definitely did not hurt. And it is because the way Civitas has opened me up to my love of international relations and this idea of global citizenship that I can say that I know what I want to do with my future. Now, a large part of my dreams involves finding ways to make a difference in the world, but for my senior project, I know I needed to start on a local level, knowing that we must first fix local, state, and domestic issues before the world as a whole can truly be bettered. Thus, my senior project at the Howe Avenue Elementary School Toy Drive focuses on the local level by providing underprivileged kindergarten students with presents and a little extra happiness during what may be a rough holiday season for them. Howe Avenue Elementary is a school with a demographic of students at a very low socioeconomic level, and they also have many English as second language learners and students who come from transient families. And these families, the main concern may be keeping food on the table and a roof over these kids' heads, so presents for Christmas are not really what is on the parents' mind. So in order to remedy this situation and bring smiles to the faces of five-year-olds, a Civitas student started the toy drive several years ago. I have been working with this toy drive since my freshman year, um, donating and delivering presents. It's always been a heartwarming experience, so I needed to make sure that it continued. And luckily, since I had experience working on this project before, I began with a general idea of what needed to be done. So in the toy drive, um, the Civitas classes are responsible for donating gifts and stocking stuffers for the Howe Avenue kindergarten classes. There are approximately 60 kindergartners who are matched to Civitas students and for whom small presents and stuffed animals are collected. In addition to this, items are donated to fill large stockings. They're nearly as big as the kindergarten kindergartners themselves, they're about that tall, um, just to add an extra element of fun to the, the delivery. And once all the toys are collected, um, there's a day, which was actually yesterday, dedicated to sort, wrapping and sorting all of the presents and making sure that every student will receive a gift. And lastly, to make the day a little more exciting for the students, uh, volunteers make or bring snacks and cookies and there's a little in-class holiday party. Several um, students from the Civitas classes are also selected to be elves, which is always my favorite job, and you get to help deliver the gifts. It's definitely the most heartwarming part of it to see the look on a five-year-old's face when they open the toy they love and then say, Mom, you said there wasn't going to be Christmas this year. That's really something that always hits home. And this project is increasingly important for the Howe Avenue students, as many of their families' economic situations have gotten worse since the recession. According to the 2011 um, School Accountability Report Card for Howe Avenue, 94% of their students qualify for free or reduced lunch. So that kind of gives you an idea of the socioeconomic level of this school. And maybe they're not in a position to spend money on things that are frivolous in comparison to food, such as holiday gifts. But students as young as kindergarten should not have to think about such heavy matters. So this is where the toy drive comes in. Just to put a smile on the face of students whose families might be in a tough financial spot, even if they're not, there are still a few things cuter than a kindergartner whose day has just been made. If my project can brighten the holiday season for several kindergarten classes that may have otherwise had a presentless Christmas, then the toy drive will be deemed successful. In organizing this project, um, I learned a few things about how to communicate and put together events, but I also grew as a person. Throughout the whole project, I kept really realizing how thankful I was for the great community I'm surrounded by and the fact that I'm not in the same position as a lot of the families at Howe Avenue. I have never known what it's like to have a Christmas without holiday gifts, and it was for this reason that the toy drive is so important to me to ease the pain of any other little kids who really shouldn't have to think about that sort of thing. Um, it was also a test of my organization skills, because though the presents will not be distributed until Monday, actually, um, the toy drive must be publicized and put into motion 
well before that in order to have the best turnout and donations possible. And thanks to my amazing, supportive Civitas family, um, this project will be extremely successful when we deliver gifts on Monday. After just a couple of days of releasing the class list of students who needed gifts, every kindergartner was matched with a Civitas student. People were very excited about the project. And um, other community members also donated to this project by giving extra donations for mustard seeds. So you really just see the Civitas community coming together and supporting everyone, which is great. Um, fortunately, because of my previous experience with the Civitas Pancake Breakfast, as well as skills for my speech class, I had the sophistication needed to communicate my project clearly to people and garner the support. This project and everything else that Civitas has taught me will affect me in the future, especially because no Civitas student leaves Rio Americano without a sense of civic duty. It is because of Civitas that I know I want to go into the Foreign Service and make changes on a larger scale in the world. So this project will hopefully just be a tiny stepping stone to that. I cannot help the world before I first thank my very own hometown and surrounding communities. The toy drive and students who go to Howe Avenue have also opened my mind to a different perspective of money and material items. They do not need big gifts or necessarily any presents at all in order to be happy, and that is a concept that everyone should learn and accept into their lives. In a technical sense, my senior project has also helped me learn more about organization and how to gather large groups of people behind a project to help donate and put in a little elbow grease. The great memories and emotions gained from helping others will never leave. Howe Avenue is just a small piece of all the wonderful experiences I've had thanks to Civitas. From helping out my community on a small scale to what I hope to do in the future, Civitas has truly made me a more well-rounded person in every way. The countless hours put into extra academic electives, community service, and an internship and senior project are all worth it now that I find myself ready to face college and the world of international relations with all the resources I need. Thank you very much. Well, I would say that if you have any sort of interest in political, um, the political realm or even just helping your community to apply and just go for it because I came in liking politics, being kind of interested, and now I'm just completely immersed in it and absolutely adore it. So I would say just go for it. You have um, such an advantage compared to other people who go to the school. I think you come out really knowing a lot more about the world. Um, So what's your uh, kind of end goal would you like to probably, you know, serve at the UN or go overseas? Or? Um, right now, I would, my dream is to be in the Foreign Service and kind of work my way up that ladder. Um, I don't know, anything could happen at this point. The UN sounds pretty nice too, so. <laughs> Are you Secretary of State? <laughs> yes. Any particular reason in the world that really interests you and how your language is foreign language skills? Um, North Africa. Is I was really interested in also um, parts of the Middle East, definitely North Africa though. And right now I know French pretty much fluently, and I hope to learn Arabic in college. Yes. What areas of foreign service? Maybe people which immigrate or American, which Americans are received, or which um, aspect? Well, like the embassy, the ambassadorial part. Of it. Oh, I think I told you we're going to have the French ambassador during the semester. I'll come to that. <laughs>